Afternoon, Bill. I want all draw down here at Lincoln United, as always gives you thoughts on the game. Yeah, I think if you ask their manager, they'll, they'll probably say they, they think they should have got something or won, won the game. And if certainly if you ask me, I, I think we should have certainly put the game to, to bed in the first half. You know, it was two evenly matched teams. Um, you know, they, they come at you and we came at them. Um, we sort of certainly sort of got the better of the chances in the first half. Um, before we scored, you know, TJ should score. He's, he's a couple of yards out, he just needs to take a touch and, and, and tap it in the goal. He doesn't. Uh, and then we, we, you know, we cause them problems down the sides and in behind, um, and, and and we get a, a great goal, deservedly so, and, 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 and you know we, we we did deserve to go ahead, one nil, and then um, obviously Javel's one on one and, and he needs to score. I think you know he's he's, he's done well today, Javel, but um, just. Obviously, you know, in terms of in terms of opportunities, he's, he's not been as clinical as he should have done. So we won one nil up, and you know, rightly so. When we're going at half time, you think, right, okay, still on a knife edge because on the counter that that they are dangerous. Um, and second half again, I thought it was it was evenly balanced. Um, without them, you know, having many clear cut opportunities um, that I can remember. Um, or, or you know, it was mainly just throw-ins and, and free kicks that were on corners that were trying to get in the box and, and, and put pressure on us that way. And then we just looked dangerous on the counter, which obviously we're away from home, so that, that's kind of what, what you've kind of got to do sometimes. Um, and, 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 and obviously, the, I think they've scored. Um, you know, again, they, they, you know, it was we have it, you have it a little bit, and a bit of a poor defending and, and, and switching off from your forward players um, to allow the, the centre half to sort of waltz through through the, the heart of our defence and, and, and finish and very disappointed in the goal. I mean, I look at it again, and, and, and but it's it certainly the forward players that I'm looking at from, from that aspect of, of not tracking the centre half uh, all the way through. Uh, that doesn't happen and, and they score and then it's 1-1. And then it's a case of sort of, you know, they're, they're throwing things in the box, throw-ins, corners and, and free kicks without... You know, they're applying pressure, but without really troubling our, our goalkeeper any any or, or, or any sort of real clear opportunities. And then we've got several uh, at the other end. You know, again, Javel, two or three opportunities where he, you know he just needs to settle down and, and and put the ball in the back of the net. You know, from from five six yards out. So frustrated um, that, that we, we we didn't get the win and and, and Javel, you know, didn't, didn't take the chances or we didn't take our chances, but. Um, in the end, you know, I think you know from the effort of both teams and 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 the the overall play, you know, I think you know we'll take a point away from home. It's 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 a good earned point. Yeah, it was Mo Casas' first game back as well. Um, yeah. Obviously, since coming back, he, he played what was it 78, 80 minutes before he pulled up with cramp, but yeah. he got his goal. But sometimes it's overall performance. How would you assess it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we know what Mo is capable of. Um, he's not played for several months. So it's almost like starting again and. Probably needs another pre-season under him. I mean, when when it what we did an assessment of him the other night, uh, and he's probably 30, 40 percent off where he were before he left us. So that just shows you, you know, how the lack of game time has affected him. Affected him. It's shown today. Uh, it, I mean, his performance was good. He was a threat. He, he played himself in and out of the game at times, and, and and was was a constant thorn in their side. And then in the end, we always expected him to have a, a limit on how long he lasts. Uh, and and you know, he lasted, as you say, 70. 70 odd minutes so yeah you know Mo, Mo, listen we know what Mo can do he's got his goal today uh, and we know he'll be, a, he'll be a massive asset for us yeah obviously you know you got to make changes in games and yeah. you know every time Jack Ball comes off he seems to have that little bit of a stropping in but yeah. you know it's, those are the kind of players that you want in your team aren't you? those people that want to try and win games for you listen Jack Ball's been absolutely top drawer all season you know he's, he's probably been one of the most consistent players it, 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 it was it was, a, it was a, a nothing performance wise uh, it was just a tactical one it, you know um, we needed to be a, a, you know be aware of, of their pressure um, so I just put an extra man in midfield uh, but yeah, listen Jack love him to bits he's a he's a type of character you want in your dressing room and, and to be fair we're brilliant today and it was unfortunate not to not, not to get a goal himself with some of the opportunities he created. Oh, sorry, get an assist with some of the opportunities he, he created. So, yeah, no, that, that's what you want. So, no, no complaints on that. Yeah, as well, I thought, obviously, after the recent games, I guess, especially Stocks Bridge conceding three, Camping yeah. conceding four, you was asking a question this week of your defence, can they be a bit more resolute? And I thought, to be fair, with the threat that the nine and ten posed on Aidan and Josh, I thought the two centre halves were, and, and Sam Reid were. Superb today. Yeah, the, the, listen, the, 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 
Lincoln are a good, good, very good attacking side. Um, they've got some good players. The nine holds it up really well. You've got obviously Liversidge coming off either side. Uh, comes on, to, likes to come on onto his right foot and is a problem. Uh, and and obviously gets goals from it. So, yeah, that, that that's the thing. It, it was about being resilient today. That that's what I put into the lads in the dressing room. We've got to be more more resilient because we were a bit of a soft touch in recent weeks in terms of the goals that we're conceding. Not like not like we have been. So yeah, it was you know although, although I'm still disappointed with the goal we conceded. Um, you know we should have won the game one nil really um, because as I say that was the only real chance and it was a sloppy sloppy one from us. But Ultimately, yes, the defence have, have, have performed well. They've limited the chances against a strong forward line. Yeah, and I've been on to a, now a packed schedule, Gaff. I think yeah. I, I think I looked into about eight games in the next month, so you're yeah. going to have to obviously use every single body in there. But we'll, we'll, we'll start it off with the, with the second game of the pack schedule. We travel up to Heaven Town on Tuesday night, um, yeah. a team that's up there. It's a team that beat us first game of the season, wanting that yeah. bit of revenge as well. And you know, but it's going to be either a Top team up there for a reason. Yeah, listen again. It's going to be about resilience. You know, it's going to be about going there, um, and 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 being resilient defensively. And listen, you've seen today, we've created best part of probably five, six, you know, golden. And, and I'm not just talking about half chances. Here, I'm talking about golden opportunities uh, where we should score. Um, but I, I said to the lads, you know, it's not always going to be a, a scenario where you, you, your forward lines are firing on all cylinders. Obviously. You know, we've got players missing, no Myron, no Lawrence. Um, so you've got to take that into account and go, right, OK, if we are missing chances and we're not being ruthless, we've got to make sure that the back door's shut. And that's the key. Uh, and, and that's what we've got to do on, on, on Tuesday. We've got to be resilient. We've got to be tough to beat. We've got to be tough to, 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 to even get a chance against. And then we know we'll create chances. So... Um, that, that's the first and foremost. If we do that, we'll, we'll cause problems. Yep, we'll safe journey on. See you Tuesday. Cheers.